out of that one client, you realized you had something, like the, the first client that you had? Yes and no. I knew I had in me. I did it for friends and family, yeah. never for the public. So it was me learning how to be vulnerable. It was me learning how to trust people. Um, but that one client really reassured me of, you got this gift, you got it, share it with the world, and mm-hmm. don't hold that in. Did your friends and family listen to you, or is it easier to people that you don't know who hire you as a professional? You know what? That's a tough conversation. That is really interesting because I feel like they listened what they wanted to listen. Yeah. So, for example, I have a friend, and one day she called me in. She asked to borrow $500. Guess what? You know I got it, but you're going to get that pep talk. Right. Because you being my friend, why are you out of position to be able to have that in your savings? Sure. Um, so it's funny because that's kind of like the art of giving. I love to give back, but I'd rather give out, give away to people that I don't know their family. Because mm-hmm. my family was taking use and abuse sometimes, and that's taken for granted, versus mm-hmm. a complete stranger, there's no strings attached, and I don't know what you did with it. Right. Yeah. I just think that it, sometimes it's hard to have financial conversations, whether it's your parents mm-hmm. or um, brother, sister, whoever. That's sometimes true. it's just a harder conversation to have. It is hard because people are embarrassed. Yeah. Um, people don't like talking about the reality of the real. So think about it. Um, have you ever went to school and people say, how much money do you want to make? Mm-hmm. What do you want to be when you grow up? Right. But what does that mean? I don't know how much money I need to survive. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I teach my clients and through social media is, what is your dreams? Nothing is ever too big. Mm -hmm. What type of house do you want to live in? What type of car? Now let's create a budget. So we we need to position yourself to bring that amount of money to live the lifestyle that you want to live. Mm -hmm. But I never knew how much was considered a lot of money. Growing up where I'm from, people making $20,000 annually was a lot of money. Mm -hmm. When I was fresh out of college. So for me growing up in poverty, for me being middle class and transitioning, and I always say that I'm on a journey becoming a multimillionaire, I didn't know what was considered a lot of money or not enough.